Dennis, today we're going to do some experiments on you. We're going, to, we're going to test your ability to identify things by your sense of taste and your sense of smell. Okay. Okay? Now, first of all, I want you to put out your tongue, and I have a little piece of cotton here. I'm going to dry it off, and then I'm going to put some of this little powder right on the end of your tongue, and I want you to sort of pause there and think of, see, see if you can tell what it is, then swallow, and then I think you'll be able to tell what okay. it is. First of all, stick your tongue out. Oh, whoop, whoop. I left a little piece of thread there. There. It's sugar. Sugar, yeah. Now, how come you weren't able to, to tell it when I put it on your tongue? Because my tongue was dry. Yes. In fact, all of the foods that you eat, in order for you to taste them, have to be dissolved, either in water, like when you drink something, mm -hmm. or in the saliva in your mouth. Have you heard oh. that expression, uh, mouth-watering? Yeah, I've heard it a lot. Of course, when you see good food, your mouth already begins to water, mm -hmm. ready to dissolve all yeah. that material, okay? Yeah. And notice where I put that on your tongue. Right yeah. down there right on, the, on tip. the tip. Right, because that's where it's your, sen your sense of sweetness is in the tongue. And see the other parts over there? Yes, salty. On each side, yeah. And sour. And mm -hmm. right at the back is bitter. It's bitter. Have you, you've tasted all of those tastes, I yes. assume? Yeah. Yes. It's amazing how sensitive they are. If you take the, the ability to, to sense something sweet as a unit of one, mm -hmm. then salty is about uh, twice as sensitive. In other words, mm -hmm. it takes twice as much for you to taste something that's salty as it is sugar. Sour is, oh, a couple of hundred, and bitter is in the thousands. In other words, just the tiniest little bitter taste you can mm -hmm. get taste very, very easily because you're very sensitive to it. And people think that maybe one of the reasons is because poisons are kind of bitter. Yeah, and they you are. Might learn. Okay, now, hidden under this little plate are some foods. And I am going to take a little forkful and bring it up to your mouth. And I want you to first close your eyes and then mm -hmm. take one hand and hold your nose. Okay. And then I'll, you open your mouth and I'll put the little piece of food in. Keep your eyes closed and, and wait for a second or two to see if you can identify what it is. Then open your nose, in other words, let go of your nose, mm -hmm. and take a breath. What okay. we're really going to do is test whether the food that I'm going to give you, the taste of it is based on the taste or actually on the smell. Okay, okay are you ready? Yeah. Close your eyes. Open your mouth. Take a good, take a good sniff. I think I know what it what is, is it? but... What was it? I can't remember. Pineapple? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can, could you taste it before you smelled it? Yeah. You could. Okay, mm -hmm. now let's try this one. Okay. Okay, now let go of your nose. An apple? An apple. Could you taste that one before you smelled it? Yes. You could. Okay. Now let's try some of the tougher ones. Hold your nose good and tight now. Oh, you let go awfully quickly. You should be able to get that one when you smell it. Fish. Yeah. What kind of fish, you know? Salmon? Mm hmm Now, could you tell that one before you let go of your nose? No. No. That one is almost entirely the sense of smell. Here's another one. Hold it on your nose a little longer now. Don't let go. Oh, I bet you sneaked a little air in there. Now, can you tell? It's chicken. Take a deep breath. Turkey? Nope. Oh. I don't know what roast it is. Roast beef. Now when I tell oh. you roast beef, does it taste like roast beef? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, when you can't smell it, 
really makes a big difference. Have you ever noticed when you've had a cold? Yeah. When your nose is all stuffed up and you can't smell, what does the food yeah, taste like? Yeah, it tastes, you can't really taste it, and yeah. it tastes really awful, too. That's because a lot of it, a lot of the sense of taste that you think is taste is really smell. Now let's check your sense of smell all by itself. Okay. I'm going to hold a bottle up under your nose. Okay. Smell it. What is it? Vinegar. Okay. Now I want you to close your eyes, okay. and I'm going to hold it there, and you say, away, when you think I've taken it away. Okay. 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 Close your eyes. Away. Open your eyes. <laughs> is it still there? Yes. Doesn't that seem strange? You couldn't smell it anymore? Mm -hmm. No. Why? Have you any idea? Have you ever noticed that uh, when you're around a smell that you didn't like or even a smell that you did like, after a while you didn't notice it? Yeah. And scientists think that the sense of smell is sort of like a lock and a key, that the little sensors inside of your nose that, that register a sense of smell get filled up. And then oh. they can't send messages to your brain anymore. And that's why when I held it up, you pretty soon, all your vinegar sensing smell sensors got all filled up and you couldn't smell anymore. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, if you want to try some of these tests at home, you uh, blindfold your brothers or sisters or your friends and get out various foods, especially roast beef. That's almost entirely due to, to the sense of smell. And then try this little nose test. Away, and it's still there. Okay.